and you searched it out at the stripes, and then you searched it over here at the substation without a warrant because you needed that information to incriminate Mr. Ortiz. That's not true, sir. Did he ever ask for an attorney? No. Did he ever stop talking? No. <coughs> did he offer to, did he authorize consent to go into his home? Yes. Did he authorize and give you consent for DNA? Your Honor, if I may, just leading questions, Judge. Direct, open questions, please. I'll another question. Yes. Did he, did he provide his PIN number or password for his phone? Yes. And what was that for? To get his picture. My name is Sean Daniel. How are you currently employed? I work for the New Mexico Department of Public Safety. Uh, it's my opinion that the nine submitted cartridge cases were fired by the H&K pistol. Dana Paula Sarkis. And uh, Ms. Sarkis, uh, how are you employed? I am currently employed at the Webb County Sheriff's Office. I'm very concerned over the statement that was made. There is no evidence. It's just that commission I made. Your Honor, that, uh, that was the state's last witness. The state of Texas will rest. The state has failed to prove the indictment beyond a reasonable doubt. <coughs> As the court is aware, we've been challenging the search of the truck. Uh, and we would submit to the court that based on the evidence, the state failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the search of the white Dodge out of the stripes uh, was legal. Uh, it was a warrantless search and therefore illegal. And then the second search that was conducted at the uh, substation uh, at 7290 Saunders, uh, the, the vehicle was in a secure place. There were no exigent circumstances. And uh, it was searched again, Your Honor, uh, and it was a warrantless search. A mountain, an overwhelming amount of evidence to prove Mr. Juan David Ortiz's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, and that any jury, any reasonable jury here in Bear County or in Webb County or any county in the state of Texas has enough evidence to meet that burden. Regarding the search and the confession, these issues have been extensively examined and visited by the court in its two prior rulings. The evidence that was developed during this trial over the course of the last week and uh, two days only strengthened the evidence on the legality and constitutionality of both the search of the vehicle and the confession. The court was reviewing its findings, the fact and conclusions of law regarding the, both of the uh, warrantless search that was um, argued by the defense and the uh, the issue of voluntariness during the statements and confession that the defendant made. And uh, at, at this time, after, after listening to additional evidence throughout the trial uh, and the prior uh, testimony and evidence presented at, at the two prior hearings, uh, the court will reaffirm its, uh, it ruli its rulings uh, from July 10th of 2020 and from September 27th of 2022. And the court will further adopt uh, the court's findings uh, made on uh, July 10th of 2020. And so the motion for instructed verdict at this time is denied. It has rested its its, uh, its case. Um, Mr. Pettis, what says the defense? Yes, Your Honor. The defense rests, Your Honor. Okay. Stay close. Stay close, Your Honor. The defense close. Defense close. Okay. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, all of the evidence that's been presented in this case, uh, I still need to read the jury instructions to you. We're going to have a, a conference on that with the attorneys. And what we're going to do at this time is excuse you for the day so that we can work on that. Uh, I will ask that you be back at 8.30. Uh, actually, I'll be back by 9 a.m. tomorrow.